so we'll keep an eye out to see if he comes back out to play defense. Yeah, and you can see it on that replay. Definitely, as you just said, Pete, noticeably limping after stepping on the bag. First pitch misses for ball one on Renato Nunez. And second pitch, a strike to make it one and one. Next offering to Nunez. This is low, two balls and a strike. You know, the expression or the body language of Volt, I think he was surprised he had it. I mean, jumping into the air using his entire frame just barely was able to squeeze it. And you could see most of the ball sticking out of the top of his glove. It's almost like he couldn't believe he had it. And it came down and threw it to second base. Mike Miller on the relay able to get the double play. Huge play for Pawtucket. Paw Sox still with a 2 to nothing lead. 3-1, and it's popped up over our heads. Let's make it 3-2. and two. <laughs> Nunez, one for two. Singled back in the first, popped out in the fourth. Three two pitch on the way and it's fouled back. Well, Peaks has got to be careful with Nunez. We know he can hit the fastball. And with that wind blowing out towards the picnic area, all it would take is just a mistake for Nunez to just crush one out of here. Full counts, nobody on. Bottom of the sixth inning. And the three two pitch to Nunez. Got him with an off speed pitch about 85 miles an hour. That is strikeout number seven of the game for Beaks, number 80 this season.